Alright guys, American Chip here on a tutorial on how to uh, put Windows 7 on your Asus G46 VW. I apologize for all the background noise I have. I can't really control that. It's my parents, brothers, sisters watching TV and stuff. But let's just go on to the video. Well, first, you're going to want your computer off. And I would recommend backing up your files. Because I know I didn't. And I lost everything. But you're going to want to get into your BIOS. And in order to do that, it's either escape or to delete. And I don't know which one it is. So I spam both of them. So you're going to want your computer off, of course. And let me go do that. Because I really can't do that while holding a camera. Alright guys, so I figured out it was the delete key. Because the escape key is uh, your boot device manager. Which I also need to fix. So you're going to want to have a Windows 7 CD or a USB, which I have. And put Windows 7 on it, of course. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Advanced tab by using your arrow keys. You're going to want to this oh no not your advanced your boot you're gonna wanna enable th the launch CSM uh, I'm disabling so you can see you're gonna have to disable fast boot which you're gonna see and then you're gonna enable launch CSM and then in your security you're gonna disable secure boot control and then you're gonna save changes and exit and then as normal it should boot up to Windows 8 but you're not going to want that, so I would just say, um, what's it called? So just hold the uh, power button and let it turn off. Oh, I forgot one thing, actually. You're going you're gonna to want to, um, well, I'm spamming the delete key. You're going to want to create a new boot option, and that would be... Dang it, which one would it be? Boot option number one. Oh, you're going to want to plug in the USB to either USB slot. I choose the USB 3.0. And... God dang it, where would it be? From here, you're going to want to... Let's say... Well, this doesn't have a DVD drive, so you're going to have to do it from USB. You're going to want to... That's the hard drive. You're going to want to spam escape, I assume. And this should bring you up to... Yep. To the boot um, menu. And you're going to want to boot from your USB. Mine is a SanDisk Cruiser Glide. Yours probably won't work with the SanDisk. I had to literally take apart the disk image and install it separately. Sandus isn't really made for booting and I didn't want to buy another USB. So you're gonna to want to boot from your USB. You can see that Windows is loading the files. We'll wait for this to come up. One day this will I like how it all, oh, I was about to say, it completely loaded and then like, it just said no, F you. Starting Windows, and then you're going to see this menu. Some of you guys will be too eager to install Windows 7, and you guys are just going to fly through this. But no, it's going to say that there's an error with the GPT drive. What you're going to want to do here is, I believe, FN, Shift, and if I could get my pinky to the F10. Hold on. Alright guys, it's not FN for this one. It is Shift and F10. So, Shift and F10. And that should bring up your command window. And what you're going to want to do here is type in disk part. Press enter. This is going to come up. And then I should do this part. So you're going to want to do, uh, let's see. List disk. 
Alright, so my main drive is disk number 0, which is the 750 gig. Disk 2 is my USB. But what you're going to want to do is type in select disk 0. Then you're going to type in clean. I'm not going to do this because I already did it and I already have Windows 7 installed, so I, don't, I really don't want to screw this up. So after you do all that, you could then exit out and continue with your install and I'm not going to do that because I already installed everything but just the same Windows 7 if you install Windows 7 you lose your wireless driver so um, I'm going to have all the drivers in the, the description because I already uh, installed Windows 7 as you guys will see when it boots up It's going to say, like, probably advanced boot options because, yeah, I didn't really turn off Windows correctly. But continue as normal because I know I didn't really screw anything up. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. So let's just start that up. And this will happen after you guys uh, finally get into the... Uh, Windows setup. It's gonna do its first time setup. It's probably gonna take like ten, no, five minutes I would say, because we have a pretty fast computer. The only thing that sucks is the 150 computer updates that Windows 7 has. And let's just wait for this. There's my beautiful mouse. And as I said before, you guys will have nothing but the very basic drivers. So you're gonna, you guys are going to have to go through my description and literally pick apart each driver and install it to the computer. Because I know it was a struggle for me. Like when I played in the nighttime, I did not have a backlit keyboard. And th the keyboard should, um, the lights should turn on once Windows figures out what it's doing. Do, do, do. Graham. Welcome to Windows 7 and depending on what you guys have, I have Windows 7 Ultimate which is the ultimate version of Windows. It, it really doesn't take that long to install, to do all these things. It really doesn't take long. What's going to take long is either getting everything you had back because I didn't back up my things. Oh look, there's my keyboard on. I didn't back up anything so I had to reinstall every single thing and there is that's it saying because I just finished installing all the drivers it's telling me that I have to restart my computer but um if you guys look down in the description I have literally every single drivers that you will need for the computer I found all of them very thankfully I found all of them so, um, if you guys are going to install the, the graphics card updates, you have to install the Intel one first before you can install the, the NVIDIA ones. And just in case you install the NVIDIA ones first, it will literally tell you you have to install the, the, um, the Intel ones first. I think I messed up saying that. But you guys get what I mean. You'll see. And then, um, for the, for the wireless, I also have that in the description. And I know some drivers, they um like especially the the what's it called, the wireless drivers. When you download it, it even says Windows 8 on the zip file. But you you guys are not gonna choose um when you open up the zip file, it'll have two different folders called Win 7 and Win 8. You're gonna choose the Win 7 and install from there. Let me see if I can show you guys by downloading it. Bam. All right, so let me uh, go to Google Chrome because you know Chrome is life. And most of the drivers, even though people say you can't find uh, Asus will not support them for Windows Seven, you would conveniently find that all the uh, all the Windows Seven drivers actually work for Windows Eight. So let's see. Uh, go down to wireless. I'll say the Intel wireless LAN driver and you would click here 
and if you guys look in my description, this website will pop up a lot. You literally can download from this site. Like I got my Bluetooth drivers from here. I got the the micro USB, the audio drivers, the chipset drivers. I got the yeah, I think that's just about it. I also got the Intel wireless drivers. But let me go ahead and install the Wi-Fi drivers just to show you guys. All right, guys, I finished downloading the drivers, so I could go ahead and close this window because I'm just showing this one for the Windows. I mean, not the Windows, the Wi-Fi drivers. So you're gonna want to click right here. This is a WinRAR file, but it's it's a, it's actually a .zip file. I just have WinRAR enabled to use zip files. So you'll see that it has two different things. It has drivers and it has install. You can do this one, but then it's gonna say that um, it might not be compatible with Windows 7. But if you go into the drivers for, uh, folder and go into Win 7, you you literally all you have to do is well first you have to extract the files so you make a new for I don't know if you guys can see that you make a new folder you do that it's gonna say that there was a few things that could not be um like I know I pro something and another one could not be uh, extracted I have no idea why but guys you do not have to worry those are not essential files so you would go over here to drivers win 7 and you see the oh, I don't know if you guys saw that drivers win 7 and then the DP install for 64 bit you click on that you click yes and you, uh, you just go through the setup process and you guys will install your Wi-Fi drivers it's like this for several different um, drivers not all of them thankfully but for some of them you are gonna have to do that kind of process you have to find the Windows 7 folder or even some of them they um they are compatible with Windows 7 and 8 at the same time which is pretty good but overall that's really how you install Windows 7 onto this beast thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time